fight. And Matilda Ransom goes for City of Cambridge in lane number four. Ella Bloxage in five from Salford. The fifth heat of eight heats of the women's 200 metres butterfly, the last of the unseeded heats, and Matilda Ransom of City of Cambridge. My first swimming club, actually. I learned to, learned to swim in the, in the pool there in, uh, in Cambridge. And absolutely lovely. Mrs. Barker, everyone who uh, is associated with, uh, with the Cambridge Swimming Club will know Mr. and Mrs. Barker, Ray and Jan. Unfortunately, Ray passed away a while ago. And, Jan very recently, but uh, absolute stalwarts. What they did, I mean, I don't know if she got an MBE, but she really should have done what she'd done for swimming. What she did for swimming there was just quite extraordinary. A soft spot for City of Cambridge. Anyway, City of Cambridge swimmer, Tilda Ransom, is the fastest seed right in the centre there in lane number four in that blue hat, but uh, probably the fastest down this first 75 or so. Closer to us, Jessica Higgins of Poole in lane number eight in the yellow hat. Yellow Hat's having a good morning, I think. I think City of Leeds pool right there as well. And we uh, saw a couple of others have a very good start. There's two on the fly. Huggins will lead them, though. Jessica Huggins from pool. Bernholt from Barnum Copto. Right up there in lane number two and noon in third position. Well, again, these juniors really stepping up. I mean, it's an iconic venue here in London. I know that they do hold competitions here, regional events, but this is, you know, the British Championships. First time that the, the trials have been held here for a while, probably since, I think, 2012, I think. Was that the last time the trials were held here for the Olympic Games? So, you know, big, big stage, and the youngsters really delivering. And it's two yellow hats right out in front. Huggins, 141.1. Could be on for another good time here. Well, you're right, Paul. I think uh, Aquatics GB is, is putting on a super meet. I mean, they've got those wonderful uh, LED boards on the side of the pool, the branding everywhere, the, there's tickets. They've really gone to try and sell it out to get as great an atmosphere as they can because you go to the Olympic Games, let me tell you, the atmosphere there is absolutely fantastic. And uh, get used to it, you need to, because uh, if you don't have atmosphere at the trials and you go there, it can really squash you. Super swim this in lane number eight. It is Jessica Huggins of Paul to 18.09. The season's best and lifetime best, but certainly from the big guys, maybe put in a couple more consideration times would be helpful for them. We've seen some of the events have just been kind of that changing of the guard year. So the women's 200 breaststroke a little bit like that, as well as that 200 men's butterfly. Women's junior final 200 breaststroke. Charlotte Hardy of Millfield is the fastest seed into this junior 200 meter breaststroke final for women. She's in lane number four. A good start right at the bottom here from Chloe Brown of Mount Kelly. A very good start indeed from her. But look at the long, rangy, efficient stroke right in the centre there. That green hat of Charlotte Hardy. I do love seeing these 200 meters breaststrokers where they just seem to surf. They just seem to kick and get the absolute maximum distance for every single kick or effort that they make. Yeah, particularly in, in 200 metres breaststroke, it's about being super streamlined, so you're not necessarily rating like you would be in the 100 or the 50, so you try and slow everything down, really maximise the distance that you'll cover in each arm cycle and with each leg kick, so almost squeezing that water out between your feet and really tucking that chin in and being as streamlined at the front as possible. And it, it's lovely to see breaststroke when it swam well and it looks very efficient. So Chloe Brown is definitely of European junior age, as is in the centre Charlotte Hardy of Millfield School and Matilda Ransom of the City of Cambridge. My first ever swimming club, City of Cambridge, Mrs. Barker. Very, very sadly recently died, but what an inning she had and a brilliant, brilliant servant for swimming in the Cambridgeshire area and the national area. My hat goes off to her and her family. Lovely lady, Mrs. Barker. But uh, this the junior final of the women's 200 metres breaststroke. And Chloe Brown still going well closest to us, but uh, starting to take over now is Charlotte Hardy in the green hat of Millfield. And going with her, Matilda Ransom of Cambridge, also going well up there 
in lane number seven is Charlotte Cope of Guildford. She's starting to make a charge. Yeah, you can really see her just increasing that stroke rate on the third 50. So important, as we said, in breaststroke swimming, not to just increase that stroke rate and slip and miss a lot of water, but to really get hold of more water and just really pick it up, stroke by stroke. Well, there's still four women right in the hunt in this junior final of the women's 200 meters breaststroke. Maybe just starting to inch ahead now is Charlotte Hardy of Millfield School in the center in the green hat. Really good last uh, 30 meters or so. Now, can she bring it home with 10 to go? Still going well as Matilda Ransom of Cambridge in five, but it's going to be Charlotte Hardy of Millfield School winning the junior 200 meters breaststroke final. Her time, 2.35. Gonna have to be pretty fast to make sure that they're back in that A final. Well, you certainly never bet against uh, Duncan Scott. I wouldn't bet against Matt Richards because he's on fire here, and I definitely wouldn't bet against the Olympic champion Tom Dean. So I won't be betting. <laughs> anyway, the final event is the women's 200 medley, four finals. The junior final now with Lara Thompson of City of Leeds, the fastest seed, with Matilda Ransom in three. Thompson four, Eleanor Broughton in five. The junior final of the women's 200 meters individual medley. And again, we're blessed uh, with some fabulous medley swimmers in Great Britain in both the men's races and the women's. We've still got Abby Woods to come in that big final with Leah Schlossen in there, Candice Hall in there, Phoebe Cooper in there as well. But Lara Thompson in lane number four and up in seven, Beth Hall of Mount Kelly gone off like a shot. Yeah, really strong in that butterflies, obviously using her strengths to her advantage. 28.72 is probably a bit faster than I would like to see in some of these junior summers. So working that butterfly really hard. Still looking really good though. She's obviously a front end, or favors the front end of this 200 individual medley. And she's using that to try and break away and get a little bit of clear water. And Beth Hall of Mount Kelly, they've had a very good meet so far as the Mount Kelly team. And Beth Hall going well down this first 100, the fly and the backstroke leg. Also going very well down at the bottom here is Kate Morris of Nova Centurion and the green hat in one. Very strong backstroke from Holly Marshall of Repton in six. So it's one, six and seven. Morris, Marshall and Hall at the halfway mark. Yeah, these girls have almost got to approach this race as four 50 metres. It sounds simple, that's exactly what it is, but it's really hard to get that transition from fly to back and back to breast and breast to free and do it quickly without taking time to build because unlike the 400 individual medley, you haven't got 90 metres once you come up to really accelerate. So very important to work those transitions. We're starting to see these swimmers now really build down the breaststroke. Well, all of these swimmers juniors in this junior final of the women's 200 medley and right in the centre now come through in the yellow hat of City of Leeds. It is Lara Thompson, the fastest seed coming into this final. Life to best of 218 is very fast indeed. So if she can get close to that, that would be fabulous. But the big charge on right in the centre now. Yeah, you've got to really work the legs on this freestyle. Very important to stick to that breathing pattern. We just heard Dom, Tom Dean there say he just knew he was breathing to the right so he could see Duncan and just really held that into the wall. Laura Thompson of Leeds going for her lifetime best. She's just going to be outside of that, but it's a good swim. It's going to be a season's best by a long way. 219.8, underneath 220. And 